okay welcome back to the second part the next thing I want to do now is when I click on this text box I want to prevent it from accepting characters so what I'll do is select it all now that all the text box are selected go to the event right there okay and let's look for key press right here so in there let's give it a name txt numbers only that's what i'm going to call it so what will happen is that should group all of these text box together okay now that the event is ready right in there we enters as follows if character dot is digit right there double click on that open a bracket e dot that'll be key char equals force okay and character or char dot is control is control open e dot key char equals force then what we want the system to do is as follows e dot handle or handled equals true and message box um, let's say please enter valid number all right that's the message that we will want the system to display so let's just enter visual basic information dialog right there so if we give this a try now let's run it and see what will happen there we go so let's click on any of these and enter whatever character in there you see that it's not accepting that but it does accept just numbers let's say 88d no that's not accepted so that is fine only it only accepts just numbers let's give this a try as well yep the same thing so that is taking care of the this is taking care of end users and entering invalid data so that's cool so the next thing we want to do now is let's take care of these ones let's start with this okay double click on the paste and enter rtf dot paste there that's taken care of now let's take care of copy double click on copy rtf dot copy now dot copy there taken care of now let's take care of court as well double click on court rtf receipt dot cut that should be cut there so all of those ones are the easy ones they are taken care of that's fine so now let's look at let's look at the print double click on print for the print to work just make sure you guys have imported the following dialog all of these uh, object must be imported as print preview and the other one is print document so let's go back into the print so with the print i'm going to enter print that will be print preview dialog this very one is print preview dialog one actually dot document this one okay equals print document one this one there so now print preview dialog as well we want it to show so copy that paste that in here dot show dialog so that's it taken care of now the next thing is to come back in here okay double click on this print dialog itself double click on it and so that we specify the type of font we need intend to use e dot graphic okay dot draw that'll be draw string right there there draw string and the string i want you to draw is the rt 
reset dot text comma we me a new font and just enter the font there all right so open another bracket and specify the type of fonts let's say we want maybe area area and comma the size of it let's make it maybe 14 comma font that'll be font style font style font style dot you can select bold or whatever i'm going to just make it regular and then what about the brush let's come in here enter a comma there comma let's go for this type of brush i guess yeah brush dots the color black you can choose whatever color you want comma 120 by 120 so that should take care of the print dialog okay so if i run the program let's say let's just run it now and you guys see what will happen okay so let's just click on receipt that will display zero so if i want to cut i can just select cut and come right underneath here and just paste whatever in there where it's paste there I'm gonna even just copy and just paste it right in here so paste you see that works so let's say we want to print click on print there we go guys that's my print dialog responding there we go right there okay you see the print dialog that works so close that so the next thing we want to do now let's exit that the next thing is to take care of save open and i think I've, we've taken care of this no we haven't that is a uh, rt dot clear so that should give us new that should give us a new page so here let's double click on that to take care of the open so we enter the following lines of codes to take care of the open okay those are the lines of code that will take care of the open so let's look after double click on save as well and there those are the lines of code for save so that is taken care of and the next thing we want to now do is okay let's get in for this help let's use come in here sorry coming straight into project and select add new and we need i'm going to use this very one so let me just use the dialog okay select that and just click on add okay so now what we do is select this image i don't need that image so i'm going to use my own image that i made up so let's come in here import i think i have something on my desktop here yeah there we go so that's the image i intend to use just do coffee instead of getting drunk so click on that now i will now double click on this very one just write one or two things in there double click on that and right there enter as follows let's copy this is that in there dot text equals well, just do just do coffee just do coffee and learn how to code all right so that's just what i intend to put in there and learn how to code just do coffee and learn how to code okay now the next thing is come back in there you see this one select that come to the property right there and change the event to text a text change okay right inside the text change what i want to do is i want that to display the name of the author the text equals i think that's okay that's to do with the auto so author's name is paul omen that's my real name okay 
come back in here and where it says copyright let's come into copyright take it down and come straight into where it says text change double click on the text change just copy all of those paste that in there that's the name of the object really the text equals um, copyright copyright belongs to DJ oh man that's the name of my YouTube okay that's it done so I've taken care of one two and three and the next thing I want to do now is to go back into the form right here double click on that uh, question mark and just say about two dot show there that's it so if I run my program now okay let's give that a try run let's click on about there we go All right we get the copyright the author name just to coffee maybe increase the font of this okay with that guys I'll call it the end of the second part of the tutorial and the final part will just be the will just be to take care of the calculations bye for now